This is my recording this is down okay hey everybody welcome back to life me i'm back with another video and y'all this video is about sunscreen hey y'all y'all everybody needs sunscreen regardless of what you have, may have heard what your mama may have told you what your daddy may have told you what your nene may have told you everybody needs sunscreen now there are plenty of videos on the yt that talk about sunscreen that gives you all these wonderful facts and i'll post some of those down below because that's where i got a lot of my information from i just want you to know as one person to another, you need sunscreen. From the lightest of the light to the darkest of the dark, you need sunscreen. The only difference is the lighter person cannot stand the sun as long as a darker person because that melanin is a sunscreen unto itself. But it is not everything. Yes, we can do a lot of things with our melanin, but we can't protect ourselves for long term from skin cancer, okay? Because that sun, those rays are beating down on your skin regardless of how much melanin you have in it. So you need sunscreen. So today I'm going to be talking about my sunscreen. I have five of them and I've been experimenting with them and I stopped at five because I figured five sunscreens at a time is enough to have open so we're going to talk about these five sunscreens but before we do here's some key facts sunscreen the magic number is 30 spf uh, you want to have at least 30 spf for your sunscreen two there are two types of sunscreens. There's a physical sunscreen and there's a chemical sunscreen. And make to make a long story short, what are the differences? The physical sunscreen has zinc oxide and titanium oxide and or titanium oxide in it. The chemical one does not. The physical one blocks the rays from going in. So you put it on, it's a physical barrier. It stops the rays from going in. That's a physical sunscreen. The chemical sunscreen let, allows the rays to go in. They do something with it inside the body. And I don't know if it shoots it out, and turns it into energy, turns it into heat. But whatever it does, it goes into the body first. Okay? So physical and chemical. The physical one are the ones that people are always talking about where they say, Oh, it makes me look like I got a white cast. Oh, I look like that. That's because of the oxides in the formula. Okay? Chemical sunscreens don't have that. Okay? Pretty simple. So, I have with me, I have four physical sunscreens. And I have so many because... I really, when I think about the rays going into my body and being turned into something using the chemical sunscreen, I kind of don't like that. So really it is up to you which type of sunscreen you want to use. You know what I'm saying? What's important to you. So I have four physical and one chemical at this time. As I use these up, I will be trying more, but like I said... Five is enough to have open at one time you know what I'm saying okay so here are my sunscreens I'm gonna go through the physicals first in order of how I like them and then I'm going to talk about the chemical okay so my first one is a is a neogen dermal dermology neogen dermology sunscreen and it's 50 SPF and I got this from Sephora and um, I think it was $30, but I'm not going to say prices because I can't remember. I'll just put the prices in here. And y'all, this must be a good sunscreen because it keeps selling out on Sephora. Um, I know it has uh, titanium dioxide in it. Uh, I know that from reading on Sephora because you can't tell from the back because it's all in another language. But I really like this sunscreen. Uh, it's also, can, I also use it as a moisturizer. It's very moisturizing. 
And as far as a white cast, it does not really leave a white cast. I'm going to have a demo in here of me rubbing it in on the side of my face. Whereas it may look like it has a white cast at first, but as you rub it in, it goes away. Now, a lot of this information, if I can remember anyone's names, Mel the Muse and something from the internets. I have gotten a lot of information from them and of course Jackie Ina always saying wear sunscreen, wear sunscreen, wear sunscreen. So that's where I got some of this information from. So if you want to get more details on some of these sunscreens, you can go to one of their pages. They really help me out and also reading blogs and things like that. Okay, my second sunscreen I have, I got off Amazon and this is called Replenix. It's, the, it's a sheer physical sunscreen with 50 SPF and it blocks UVA and UVB rays and it has zinc oxide in it and here is what this one looks like. This is a spray but you never spray it directly on your face. You spray it into your hands and rub it into your face. It's a spray bottle but you should spray it in your hand before rub it on your face. Never Spray it directly in your face, get in your eyes, up your nostrils, down your throat. You, you don't need that on the inside of you. You know what I'm saying? Um, but another way that you could tell that it has a type of oxide in it is when you shake, you, you have to shake these up. These have to be shaken up, the physical sunscreens. So you can tell because you hear the little pee on the inside or whatever it is when you shake it. So that's how you know it has some type of oxide in it. Now, I know I said that the Neogen Dermology has it in there, but it also has some berries and some other things in there. So maybe it has more of that than the oxide product. I don't know, but you don't shake this one up at all. But back to this one. This one is very sheer. It feels oily at first first but you rub it in and it may have like a little white cast but all you gotta do is keep rubbing and rub it in. My third SPF it, I also got off Amazon and it is it is from the company Etude House Sunprise Mild and Airy SPF 50. Now all of this is in a different language but you can look this up online and it tells you the ingredients because on Amazon there's this one and there's another one that they have but that one I believe is a chemical sunscreen whereas this one of course is a physical sunscreen you hear the little thing shaking up in there the little peanut so yes this is a physical sunscreen I really like it um, you do have to make sure you rub it in it does not feel oily or greasy or anything I really like this sunscreen from Amazon my okay my fourth one reminds me of this one and it is by Clinique and it's uh, SPF 30 is the it is a physical sunscreen, but it says mineral sunscreen fluid for face. But it is a physical sunscreen. You hear the little P in there. And it has titanium and zinc oxide. But they're calling this 100% mineral sunscreen. But that is not true. So I don't know why they're calling it that. That does not make sense. But anyway, this is a physical sunscreen. I like it. It takes a minute to rub it in, but once you rub it in, it goes on the skin very nicely. Doesn't feel oily. Um, and does not give you that deathly looking white cast. So I really like this one as well. Okay, my last sunscreen is a chemical sunscreen, meaning it does not have titanium oxide or zinc oxide. What it has in it is avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. And it is the black girl sunscreen with 30 SPF. And of course, anybody can use this. This is just the name of it. But it's high claims are it's ultra sheer and it has no white residue. I really like this sunscreen. Um, but like I said, I think I prefer the physical sunscreen versus the um, chemical. But there are just sometimes I'll use the chemical and not the physical. 
does not leave a white cast it does not have zinc any type of oxide in it so therefore you won't have a white cast and it's also very moisturizing and you can use this all over your body now the last important thing of note is when you put these on in your skincare routine when do you put them on physical sunscreen should be your last step in your skincare you know like if you're gonna put on like right before your primer so sometimes people use these as primer they're they're sticky and they can be used as primer I don't but you put this on as your last step in your skincare before your primer. If you don't put on primer, you put this on before you put your foundation on. That's the physical sunscreen. Now the chemical sunscreen, um, since this goes inside of your body to do its magic, sometimes, I have read that sometimes moisturize, your moisturizer can block some of the things that it has to do. So your chemical sunscreen should go on before your moisturizer. Okay. Well, y'all, I hope y'all found this video useful. I want to thank all the ladies and all the blogs and everyone that's helped me gather this information. Like I said, I have the information down below. I think this is a very important video to do. I know it's the end of summer, but that sun is out. Even when it's cloudy, those rays are coming through and it's best to protect your skin. Yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know down below if you wear sunscreen and if you do, what kinds you use. Because once I run out of one of these, I'm going to try some other kinds. So let me know if you wear sunscreen and what you use. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in another video.